Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all staying safe and doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Virgo. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported my channel through commenting, liking, subscribing. I really do cherish and appreciate you all so very, very much. This is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with everyone. For private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So I'm going to call in your angels, guide, spirit and source energy, Virgo. Let's see what guidance I would like to bring through for the week ahead. For Virgo. Just bear with me a moment as I shuffle and deal the cards for you. It will only take a moment. Your energy, Virgo, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Okay, so we have duality. It says the frequency of duality supports our ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So there is an, I'm seeing a connection here. I'm seeing that there's a connection. It may be romantic, it may be a friendship perhaps, or a family member. There's an energy here of duality between you both. So I'm seeing that you're going to find a win-win solution. I'm feeling that if there is any conflict or some difficult communication happening this week, Virgo, I'm seeing that you will be able to work it out. I am seeing that if anything has been hidden, if anything has been kept from you, I feel that a secret is going to come out for some of you. I feel something that's hidden will be revealed. I'm also getting a sense that you're going to be working well with others. You know, there's, there is a connection that can also, um, also grow. Okay, so there's a positive connection I'm seeing for some of you where you're working in partnership with others or another person. And there is, yeah, a strong sense of connection, commitment and working together, which is really nice. I am also seeing that with this energy of having, there's a win-win solution here. I'm feeling that this other person involved, they can't fake it anymore. There's no ability here for them to put on a false mask. It all comes out okay it's all revealed the secrets come out so if there has been any kind of false interaction in your life it's going to be revealed this week or very soon so this is an empowering energy for you virgo very empowering let's take a look at your next message so we have solitude coming up it says think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times so this is really really nice of course with everything that's going on with the virus in the world there is a lot of solitude going on and spirit is wanting you to look at this in a positive way being alone as meaning you are all one so you complete your whole there's healing energy here so there may be even an opportunity that comes through solitude and so that's very very powerful so open up your mindset open up your heart to the positive possibilities that are around you from this isolation or solitude very nice very powerful energy and we have um, the emperor so taking the lead in an area of your life is really important as well virgo there could be an aries as well that is around you very prominent in your life this week i'm seeing that there's either an opportunity here for you to step up to take a leadership role with others or solo with what you, what's going on um, in yourself personally with this duality energy here with uh, the first card and this communication, this connection I'm seeing with someone here, you're going to have to step up. You're not going to be taking a sidestep or staying in the background. I'm seeing you're going to be 
front and center with with something going on in your life this week very powerful um, empowered energy here caressa it says you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next steps happiness awaits you now so if there's been some changes in your circumstances spirit wants you to know that this is an end of a cycle for you and that means new beginnings are going to emerge new opportunities will emerge you will find and discover your next steps if you're not sure at the moment what that what the next steps are or what to do spirit is saying that happiness does await you and you will discover the next step soon beautiful we have the three of cups this is a celebration this is a togetherness this is a strong connection with others so even though there may be a solitude energy you may be alone you know not in large groups of people you know there's still social interaction here so this could be through online communication, phone calls, texts. There's still communication I'm seeing here as being very important. Your, your network is still available to you. And this is really beautiful. There may be an Aquarius around you, Virgo. We have the star energy. Finding your true north. Finding your true purpose. Blending energies. Okay, so in a relationship or a communication or a connection, I feel this does tie into this duality energy that first came out of perhaps opposites working together or finding out who really is in harmony with you, maybe working in relationships that are out of harmony or out of balance, things are going to come to light. And that ultimately is a positive thing. And you finding your true guidance through your intuition, through maybe even stepping up and taking the lead in a circumstance in your life. Very empowering. This is a comfortable energy. The nine of pentacles means that there may be a wish that's granted. There may be a culmination of something coming in, okay? Or a lump sum of something, you know, a bulk of something coming in. It may be financial. It could be you have a lot of work on your plate. It could be um, something around the home. It could be to do with a relationship. But there's a there is a contentment. But there's a lot of something or a, or a a bulk energy coming towards you this week. But it's not overwhelming. Okay, it's something. It's an abundant energy. Okay, for the for the most part, I'm seeing this is a po very positive thing for you for you to be more set up in your life in relationships or financially or whatever it is for you to have an understanding maybe um, this this emperor energy is about planning as well planning and structuring things so perhaps you're structuring things so then you can be more abundant now and in the future financially work-wise whatever it is for you personally yes the queen of rods beautiful there may be a fire sign around you. We do have an Aries here, but there could be a Leo or a Sagittarius around you as well. The Queen of Rods for you, this is nice because it means that you're quite dynamic. Okay, so even though we have a solitude energy, you're changing some things in your life quite drastically here with the Caressa energy, you're still quite dynamic in your life. There's still the sun is still shining here you can recognize the positives you recognize that you're changing with the times your relationships are changing with the times so i'm seeing this as a very positive dynamic energy that you're going to find yourself in yes powerful strength um, so there may be a Leo. We have another fire sign here. There may be a Leo energy here. You recognizing your strength through tough times, your fortitude, the dynamic and the energy, the planning, the preparation, the changing things up. You know, it's all, it's all, I feel, building character, building strength in a relationship, strengthening you personally, spiritually. There's an understanding of your flaws, others' flaws, 
there's a sense of finding your true north or following your true heart and your intuition within an area of your life so this is an extremely powerful read for you virgo i am sending you much love and light and abundant blessings on your journey this week